Hello. Welcome to Let's Make an Oxymail. Um, I'm going to make this oxymail that my teacher and mentor, Dr. James Duke, once taught me. He called it Veroxymail. And that meant to him and to me that it was antiviral. So one of his books, The Green Pharmacy, is here with me today. And he has a section on antivirals, which is particularly pertinent right now. So it's a formula that I love to make of um, honey and vinegar. And actually it's vinegar two parts to one part honey. So that it's an actual acid honey preparation. Um, no water is used. Vinegar shelf life stable. And so is honey. So we're going to extract the herbs in the vinegar by decocting them. And that way we can do it finish this product in a good hour. We're done. We get to start taking it. It's delicious. It's a little like salad dressing, a sweet and sour. So you can imagine um, taking a little uh, shot of it, perhaps a teaspoon to a tablespoon at a time, could boost your uh, microbial, antimicrobial um, fortification and help get through cold and flu season and, um, and be delicious at the same time. So here we go. I'm going to use the um, unfiltered vinegar, and this is a 32 ounce size, and that means it's a quart's worth, and I'm going to use the entire amount. So I want enough herbs that I'm going to cover with that to simmer. So I'm starting with a yellow onion, and the yellow skin provides quercetin, which is a bioflavonoid that helps reduce the allergic response. So we want to include the skins, so you could just quarter it. That's fine. Organic skins, please, and put that straight in the pot. I have chopped mine, and I kept the skin, so I'm putting the skins in the pot, which is, you know, a, a good, um, good way to utilize all of our resources. And onions are so important to have on hand. It's in the allium family, and we know the allium family to be antimicrobial. So we're going to use the entire onion that I cut up in advance, and as far as garlic, as much as is to your taste. It's also antimicrobial, antiviral. I love using garlic, and typically fresh is best for its antimicrobial purposes. So you could um, just squeeze it through a garlic press right on your pizza or in your broth and um, get its freshness, and that's extremely uh, potent. In this case, to one onion, I'm going to add four cloves. And that's going to decoct with our vinegar. Then I go out to my garden and I harvested four very antimicrobial aromatic plants that have uh, wintered over and they've done quite well. Thyme, mmm, thymol is the active chemical constituent. You can smell it. And I just gave myself an inhalation by, by doing that. Rub it, release the oils, and then you inhale it, and that's a wonderful way to keep the microbes from penetrating. I don't need to do very much to it. I could, with my little herb scissors, cut it up directly into the pot. And I would tell you that I'll probably have two tablespoons of thyme. And mine is fresh, and it could be any, any time that you like um, that you have. And if you use dry, that is wonderful just fine to use your pantry herbs. Also chose some rosemary and uh, as Shakespeare said, rosemary is for remembrance. It's high in antioxidants and any antioxidants are very helpful in the cold and flu season. Uh, reduces the microbial load and helps oxygenation and really helps your body um, recover as well. Rosemary is a bit warming and it's um, diffusive. So we want that as well when we're trying to warm the core of the body and keep uh, healthy. So adding some rosemary could be a, a wonderful benefit to this formula. I love sage. So there's many salvias and this is this garden sage, there's red sage, there's many different sorts. This particular garden sage, long uh, lancelet leaves, has a lot of aromatic properties. And again, the inhalation is part of the medicine. Those volatile oils that you release with heat 
as we're going to do with heat on the stove and the vinegar. So I'm stripping the sage. You don't have to cut it anymore. You could gently tear the leaves if they're uh, quite large. You're just exposing cellular uh, structure so that the uh, vinegar does the extracting even quicker. I like to use sage and vinegar as a throat gargle anyway and sometimes with a, um, a virus or something uh, that's starting in the body, it will start in the throat. So thinking about just sage in uh, water as a tea and then adding your vinegar as a gargle is a wonderful option. But I just added some more rosemary because I could. I harvested it. And this little pile is oregano. And oregano, it's going to make it taste like a pizza. Mmm, um, it's so delightful and delicious. And I use it as an antiviral, but also antifungal as a medicine. So we are making medicine and let medicine be that food, as Hippocrates said. So that's what we're doing here with our antimicrobial um, culinary herbs that could be fresh or dry. To our pot of herbs, we're going to add our apple cider vinegar. Now, apple cider is very important because it's malic acid and that is from the apple, not acetic acid. It's nourishing, it's nutritious, it's been fermented. Um, so, we're going to use this as our extracting um, minstrel in this case. We're going to use heat to pull it out and it's, it's all in. So we have a quart of apple cider vinegar. The herbs are going to be pushed down ever so slightly into the pot so that they're covered. Yeah, there we go. And then they're going to simmer gently for about 20 minutes. And I typically go 20 to 30, so it's okay to go a little longer. They're plant foods, and they're going to give themselves up right away. It won't take um, a long time to make this once you've put the fire on. I'm going to bring it up, and then I turn it down. Put the lid on, because we do lose the volatile oils in the steam um, as they start to evaporate. So I will put that on, let it decoct gently simmer uh, about 30 minutes and then I'm going to strain it into a vessel that will capture all of the fluid, throw away all the plant matter and to one pint I will add a cup. So I imagine I'm going to get um, let's say three cups worth out of this. It's four cups now. But if I get three cups of liquid I'm going to add a cup and a half of honey, so it's a two to one, and then that is going to be so delicious that we will be drinking it by a little shot glass full a day. Um, it's warming, it can be diffusive, and it's going to carry the medicine that we need into our um, immune systems. Thank you. Enjoy. There we are, our quart of oxymel, and in this case, it's a for a rock smell for antiviral capacity. Enjoy your acid honey uh, salad dressing or a little sip a day to keep all of those microbes away. Bon appetit.